Abi. Eh, eh, I love you. Love... That's my channel. That's what Malay takes sing this song. Okay, let's sing it again. I love, I love you. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> Anyway, Omale don't sing your own. I'm singing my own version because this song is so special. It's coming from the depth of my heart, baby. I'm singing it to those that have been watching my videos. And guess what? If you're a newcomer, it's your first time of stopping by on my YouTube channel. I do want to say thanks for coming through for me. I love you. Okay, let me sing for you again. I love, I love you. I love you. I love how my beautiful and loyal fans have been watching me. I've been watching my videos. I know it's not easy. You're using your data to watch my videos. I'm grateful. I am... Mm -mm. See, eh, I love you guys so much. You know what I want you guys to do for me again? I'm giving myself a target. Between now and February ending, I want us to have gotten to 500 subscribers. I need you guys to help me. Please, I need you to help me. If you help me, if you subscribe to my channel, if you like my videos, if you give my videos a thumbs up, it, this, this thing, they keep me going. Like, oh my God, what did I just speak for now? Okay, let me just calm down. Let me calm down. Okay, please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. And I want you to share, you see, share this video with those people that you are not talking to. Share it with your friends, everybody, your family, the student around you, everybody. Please, please share it, share it. Share it. I want you guys to help me. I need to get to 4,000 4, watch hours and 1,000 subscribers before I can be monetized. Please, I, see, I am begging, I'm begging you guys. Let me read out the questions I got on Instagram, my mail, and my WhatsApp because... I post there every day and I want you guys to follow me on Instagram. I'm happy girl honey. Let me read out the questions I have here from she said she's anonymous. <laughs> okay, anonymous. Let me read out your questions. I hope you're watching. Say, and hey happy girl honey. I enjoyed watching your last episode on first date. So I have some questions here for you, and this question goes thus. The first question on my table here she said what would be your reaction if you find out your boyfriend is bisexual wow okay yes let's get started as i'm watching now i want you to start writing out your own suggestion comment down below she asked me this question let me read it out again what would be your reaction if your boyfriend is bisexual i hope everyone knows the meaning of bisexual someone that does both male and female okay. before i answer this question i would love to share my own experience yes i would love to give out my own experience yes guys sometimes last year last year i can't i can't just I can't say precisely, but sometimes last year, I went to the supermarket to get some things for myself. So, as I was shopping, a particular guy approached me. I'm not going to mention his name because you might know him. Someone might know him, okay? So, he approached me. He was like, babe, I like you. Can I have a number? So, we exchanged number. I started chatting me. I know the guy is already falling in love. Yes, because if you see me, you just have to fall in love. I'm a loving person. So the guy is already liking me. Let me use that word. So the guy just told me, he called me one certain time after a week thereabouts. He now called me. He called me to tell me that, babe, I like you and I want you to be my girlfriend. But the thing is, I'm a porn star. I don't know if you can cope. And he was like, I'm a porn star. I wanted to pick out what it said. He said he's a porn star. Then most of the conversation will be on sex. Can I tell you something? I'm an ambitious woman, a potential lady for that matter. So except maybe you don't have plan for yourself as a woman, that is when you settle for anything. When I heard it, when the guy told me, I blocked him. Like, I, I blocked him from all platforms. He could not chat me up on all platforms. He could not even put a call through. I did not allow that because there is something I want for myself. I don't just want to settle for anything because, okay, I, I, want, to, I want to make friends with somebody. Then I should not settle for anything that comes my way. There is more to just being a porn star. Okay, let me just 
give you an instance. I watch a movie, a Nigerian movie. Mofe Dukan acted that movie. Mofe Dukan told this lady, I don't know her name. He told this lady that, okay, guy, look at me. I they do Yahoo and I do BDSM. So this lady, she knew all of these things before she entered that marriage. She entered the marriage because this guy is rich, he's always pumping money. And BDSM sex, that kind of sex is a kind of sex that it is it is abnormal. Like that is not how God designed it. Makes love to her, beat her up in that process, and they call it sex. I know some ladies they like it, but it is <laughs> it's a no for me. I so at the end of the day, the marriage did not work. She just had to walk out of that marriage. So, now coming back to your question. You said the guy is bisexual. You now get married to him. He's still doing it. Your health is at stake. You like you are scared. Like <laughs> your husband can't tell you that he's going out. You start having one kind of feeling that oh god, I hope he's not going to do something. Do you understand that kind of thing? So before you even get married to that person, I would advise you to walk out of that relationship. Honestly speaking, know that you don't want to walk away. You don't want to walk out of that relationship. I would advise you to pray for the guy. Show him love. Tell him, you know, you get what I'm saying. I hope you understand. I hope you understand. So that porn star, I just have to cut him off. The next question she asked me, she said, what's your advice to ladies that go under the knife to satisfy a man? That is it. But, okay, she's specific. She said, I have a girlfriend that she's always complaining of her ass. She has a very small ass and her boyfriend doesn't like it. And she said, she's going for BBL. Do you advise she should go for that BBL because of the guy? <laughs> so we still have ladies that do these things. Okay. All right. All right. It's nothing hard. Before I answer this question, I want to say that every woman out there should learn how to appreciate themselves. Don't feel depressed because of anything. I can tell you that when you do that exercise consistently and you eat good food, you diet, all the fresh skin, good hearts, you take supplements, all the fresh skin, good hearts, big boots, all those things. They will naturally come out and when you're happy they will naturally come out but in case they don't come out and you want to you know you want to satisfy your guy and you're not thinking of going for bbl or you're thinking of going for liposuction my love i wouldn't advise you to do that because i want you to know ladies that go for all these things eh they're only good for show off i'm telling you a real guy would not want to put that kind of person in their house. Mm -hmm. you know, don't go up extra mind to satisfy a guy that you are not yet married to. Because, the, see, be rest assured that once you start having complications, this guy is going to leave you. Because he's not ready to spend money and he's not ready to put somebody that is half dead in his house. Do you understand? See those people eh, that tell you that they are selling flat tummy tea and you want to kill yourself because you see them, they, their tummy is flat. Most of them, can I tell you the truth? Before they come and sell that product to you, most of them, they have gone for liposuction. Most of them have gone for BBL. Before you see that figure, it's sexy shape. That they now come out and start telling you that they are selling flat tummy tea. They are selling this. They are selling enlargement cream. Sister. Don't be deceived. I will advise you to do exercise. Your heart is going to come out. But before then, do not allow any guy condemn you. I you have to say something. If you're a guy and you're watching this video, please learn to appreciate your girlfriend. Learn to appreciate your wife. Learn to appreciate your sisters. If that see life go beyond just having big boots, having ties, big hips. That is it. I hope I've answered your questions. So the number three questions she was like why do ladies talk down on other ladies why ladies talk down on other ladies okay yes envy that's why some ladies talk down on other ladies okay you see a lady you see your fellow girl that is exploring that is flourishing and you feel that okay the best way for me to spoil this girl is to talk down on her don't do that women let's learn to support each other if you're a girl learn to support your fellow girl do not talk down on her okay 
you see a girl that is on bone straight eh she's on bone straight because your boyfriend did not have money to give you bone straight you're not hungry you're not said the girl is doing runs leave her she has the money that is why she's able to purchase her bone straight so you that you don't have bone straight please don't talk down on other ladies don't talk down on other girls if you have the money go for it and buy it but if you know you don't have the money i will advise you please invest your money when you invest your money you do other business maybe out of that business when you make profit you can take out some money and buy your bone straight it's as simple as that yes guys we've come to the end of today's episode i hope you enjoyed thanks watching. for coming through to my channel i love you guys see you in my next episode